Alex, 30 degrees uh, on the road to Running Springs Highway 330. County officials admit that the amount of snow simply overwhelmed local resources. They did not have enough preposition in advance of this storm, and it may be a week before they get everybody dug out. Cover up by snow. Dennis Wright fighting through the snow on foot back to his motel with some food and drink. He works on the mountain, but he's been unable to go home since last Thursday, and you can certainly see why. This running springs mid-afternoon, more heavy snow. This is like a kind of like a once-in-a-century type of situation, you know? There's a lot of snow, and a lot of people aren't ready for it. Our four-wheel drive news media vehicle was allowed up the hill with chains. This, the 330. But it was very dangerous, and all mountain resort roads do remain closed to the public. Duke Clark, who lives in Running Springs and can walk to work, one of those keeping a small number of businesses open for those who were stranded. It's hard. Everything's closed. Can't really get food. It's a lot of people trapped and, you know, can use some help. What about you? I'm good. Here is a current view of our street. Some of those who could use the help, Kathleen Tomlin and her relatives. They sent us these images from Lake Arrowhead, where nine of them have been trapped since last Wednesday. They were able to drag a sled to a market to buy food. We spoke via Zoom. Now it is Wednesday. We have not seen a plow on our street since last Wednesday. Um, luckily for us, we do have a generator because we lost power yesterday. We did see it the first day, which was Wednesday. Um, we saw the road get plowed, so we were very hopeful. We thought, okay, great. This is something they're going to stay on top of and continue to do. And when we didn't see another plow, didn't see another plow, and it had been days, and we still have yet to see one on our road. That's really disappointing. It's also disappointing to first responders and county officials. They say they've been plowing literally 24 7 and understand people's frustrations. We know we have stranded residents. It is our number one priority to get to those residents so that they can have the, the safe environment that we hope to provide to them. Back live, we're showing you a picture of the blue sky, the moon, clouds over the mountains as the temperature reaches freezing, Alex and Christine. There is a 24-7 storm response number that people can call. It will be on our website if they need emergency deliveries of food or medicine. They're asking that you save 911 for true life or death medical emergencies. Apparently, two people were slightly injured fighting a fire. Up in the Crestline area, the roof of a supermarket has collapsed. So far, we have not heard reports of any fatalities as a result of this week-long long storm. But when things uh, do get cleared out, no doubt county officials are going to have a lot of questions to answer as to why this storm, which was widely forecast, wasn't prepared for in a more comprehensive way. We've asked for, they've asked for help from the state and the feds. Remember, they declared an emergency. We're still waiting to see that army of plows arrive. Live uh, near Running Springs, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. Well